Hey, VV Nation, welcome to the next video in our video series of stock picking techniques. Folks, it's hard a lot of times for people to find stocks to buy, but we have a unique tool within our VectorVest system to help us to find stocks no matter what the market is doing. But keep in mind, you do want to stay in tune with the market's direction because the market's direction affects about 80% of the stocks within the stock market. So let's get right into it. Now, last week in the first one, the first thing that we looked at was looking at our powerful indicators, VST and CI. Again, I wanna dispel the myth that everything that we do here in VectorVest that you can get online for free without having VectorVest. Eh, that's the wrong answer. Our unique indicators have been around for over 30 years and they work tried and true they work so we're going to start off again with the stock viewer the stock viewer shows us that we're currently tracking 9124 stocks who wants to go through all of those stocks to find stocks to buy and that's why this series the stock picking techniques is going to be ideally crucial to helping you find the right stocks at the right time so we're going to pick off uh pick up where we ended up last week looking at vst and ci instead of going through and looking to see which stocks are the best which have the buy recommendations the earnings growth all of those different things why not use another tool within the VectorVest system to scan through the over 9,000 stocks to bring those the best stocks to the top of the list for you? So we're going to go to the Unisearch tool and we're going to set up some things. Now, the reason why we are talking about the Unisearch tool, because we listen to our subscribers in the comments. When we did the video last week, someone says, I love the video, but I would love to see you use more show us how to use more of the unisearch tool so guess what we're going to do just that i'm going to give a brief overview of utilizing the vst and ci to help us to find stocks but later in the week ryan is going to take you through a more in-depth view of how to use the unisearch tool and why it's a value add when it comes down to finding new stocks now this is our search scanning tool I've gone to the Unisearch, I've gone to my long searches, and I am making a search on the fly to help us to hone in on those good stocks. So first two things that you wanna always do in a Unisearch is you wanna put some pricing and you wanna put some volume criteria. You wanna make sure you're in liquid stocks. So we're gonna click on the parameter. We're gonna go down to stocks, we're gonna go over to price volume. And here you see, we've got a lot of different things here. I'm going to go to price actual. I wanna make sure under operator, I click. I want them to be greater. And under value, I click. And I'm going to put a custom value of $1. Now, depending on how you invest in the market, you can change that value to reflect how you invest. Whether you want stocks greater than five, 10, 20, 50, $100, you have that ability right here. All right, next line under parameter, I'm gonna go down to stocks. I'm going to go down to price volume again. And I wanna look for a 50 day moving average volume. I'll click on it. Under operator, I'm going to go greater than. I don't want to go greater than or equal to. I want greater than and under value. I'm going to go down to custom value and type in 100, 1, 2, 3, 100,000 shares. Average volume, 50 day moving average volume of 100,000 shares. That gives me some liquidity. Again, depending on how you invest in the market, you want more liquidity, change that number, make it higher. 250,000, 500,000. The more liquidity you have, the more liquidity you're looking for, it's going to lessen the amount of stocks that will be returned. So understand when you build a search, the more stringent you make the search, the harder it is, it is going to be to find stocks, even though we do track over 9,000 stocks. That's something that comes up a lot. Man, I made this search, but it's not finding me any stocks. Well, you, gotta, you may have to loosen up some of the criteria. All right, so now, We've got pricing, we've got volume. Let's go to the next line. We were looking at VST, right? Let's go to stocks, go under capital appreciation, and there it is, VST. I want the VST to be greater than, and remember, it's on a scale between zero and two, under value, 
I'm going to click custom value. I'm going to put 1.2. So now I know that it is above the value of one, which is favorable, not way above the value of one to make it too stringent, but 1.2, that's a good quality stock. Let's go down to next line under parameter, go to stocks, go to capital appreciation again. And this is where you're going to find CI. Uh, remember, that's the stock's resiliency, the stock's ability to withstand long or lengthy price declines. Under operator, I'm going to go greater than. And again, on that scaling between zero and two, custom value, I'm going to put 1.2 once again. Now, let's run this search. Now, keep in mind, we're going through the over 9,000 stocks that we have. And now I'm looking for specific things. Notice that SMCI is the top stock in our database by VST, but with all of the criteria I added, guess what? It's still there. I can now hone in on the stocks that have a VST above one, a comfort index above one. Now I'm going to introduce you to another something. If you're looking for good quality stocks to buy today, I want to look at that percentage price column. So I'm going to click under parameter, go to stocks, go to price and volume because that percentage price is on percentage of, of price. I'm going to go down to percentage price, which is percent price change. I want that to be greater than zero, which means that the stock is going up today. So still looking at stocks greater than a dollar, average volume greater than 100,000 shares, VST, CI, both above one, but that are going up today. I'm going to run the search again. Now, as you see me do this, less and less stocks will come up. Look at that. So now I'm going through the over 9,000 stocks from a stock picking technique. I'm going through over 9,000 stocks, honing in on good quality stocks that are resilient to severe price declines that are going up today. And they're sorted by our master indicator VST. Let's go look at the graph of all of these real quick. Again, good quality stocks, put this on a three month graph. How simple is it? Look at that. How simple is it? Look at the earnings per share going up. How simple is it to now go through the graphs to determine, wow, look at these stocks. How easy from a stock picking technique was it easy to find these stocks? Now, some of these stocks, when you look at the graphs, you go, well, I see a couple of other stocks that look better. Absolutely. That's why we say always look at a graph. A graph is a picture is worth a thousand words. But look at these earnings per share and the graphs that are moving up. How simple was it for you to find this as a stock picking technique? Some of these may not look as pretty as others. Wow, look at opera. And you know, these are stocks that people do know about that are moving up. I'm just utilizing the power of the vector vest tool to really reiterate these stocks that are moving up or the stocks that are not moving up as nicely as I would like them to be. But look at these. Notice that very uh, a lot of these stocks are undervalued. Some of these stocks are overvalued. And some of these stocks you may not even know about. That's the beautiful thing about this as well. But look at these stocks just over and over. Now, NETI, look at the earnings per share starting to fall. The graph is giving me a picture, right? So out of these stocks that we're looking at, I think that we can really hone in from a stock picking technique, which stocks we really do like compared to ones that we don't. Now, let's go see if this has got some efficacy behind it. Uh, I'm gonna take off the percentage price change. I'm gonna right click and delete the parameter. I'll tell you why in a second. I'm gonna go back in time, all right? And we're gonna go to the beginning of the year. Now, before anybody says, well, why would I be buying on this year, uh, on this date? There was no confirmed call up. I totally understand that. I wanna address that question now. The reason why I'm doing this is just checking the efficacy of the technique. If you understand that, I want you to type a one. I know this is a video that's being recorded, but type a one to let me know that you understand why I'm going back in time to the beginning of the year, the first trading day of the year. I'm not telling you to go buy the stocks on that date. I just want to see the efficacy of the technique. Make sure you comment in the comment section. All right, let's go quick test the top 20. All right, this is uh, from the search that we created. Let's quick test the top 20. Let's go see, did it make money? Wow, look at that. Out of the 20 stocks, out of the 20 stocks, we've got 20 winners, no losers. That is 
crazy. All right, 1-3 of 2023, up to 7-11 of 2023, 79%? Wow. I, I, I just want you to sit back and look at that. Now, again, what I have told you to buy them on that date, I'm not telling you, I'm going to tell you to use market timing. Absolutely. But if I just blindly bought on the first trading day of the year from a stock picking technique, this is what you see. I want to run this again. I just want to run this again. Again, uh, a price actual greater than the dollar, average volume greater 100,000, VST, CI, sorted by VST. I just want to run this again. I want a quick test because that's freaking amazing. Ah, all right. All right, something I did incorrect. All right, all right. Now let me back up a little bit. I was like, that's a lot. I just wanted to reiterate. I just wanted to check. Now, 12 winners, eight losers. Still more winners than losers. Let's sort this by percentage price change. Man, I just, that's the beautiful thing about doing a recording. Could I have gone and recorded this all over again? Absolutely. But I wanted you to see that, man, that 79 looked really too good to be true. All right. 1-3 of 2023, uh, got a stock that went up 226%. I do have a couple of stocks that went down double digits as well. How about this? Still outpacing the market, not by a lot. 16 point, uh, about 17% halfway through the year. The market was up about 15.5%. It's not half bad from a stock picking technique that didn't take me a ton of time to do. And I can feel confident in knowing that I can either keep up or still outpace the market from a stock picking technique. Whew. Love that we did double check that just to be on the safe side. What happened, folks, is I ran it as of today and I tested it. It didn't work. It Something said that it was almost too good to be true, and it was. So I wanted to go back and rerun it again. 1-3-2023, 20, all the way up to 7 of 2023. 16.9, almost 17% compared to about 15.5%. That's not halfway bad at all. All right, so folks, from the standpoint of a stock picking technique, we took the idea of looking at top VST, you know, sorting by VST, sorting by CI, looking at growth, a lot of different things to bring the list down to a more manageable list of stocks that are looking for exactly what you're looking for high CI stocks, high VST stocks, making sure we got pricing and volume criteria and being able to bring those to the forefront. Now, as I mentioned, we will be doing uh, between this week and next week, a more in-depth view or analysis on how to better use the Unisearch tool. Because you talk about value add to having the VectorVest subscri uh, subscription, that's one of the most powerful tools that you'll ever find in this industry. Folks, thank you for joining me for this video. If you liked it, let me know. If you are finding this series of stock picking techniques to be useful, let me know in the chat as well. If you like the content, hit the like button. Let us know that, is, that these videos are worth it for you to stop by and take a look at. Folks, this video is over. And until the next time, see ya. Hey, VV Nation, did you know that there are seven deadly sins that can keep you from consistently making money in the market? If you would like to know more about those sins and if you are falling victim to any of them, he goes right now to www.vectorvest.com forward slash YT seven sins to get your free report. You don't want to miss out on this. So do that right now.